Isn't it a lovely day to try every matcha place in New York City? Yes, it is. Let's go. Whoa, the flavors are crazy. We tried, we tried. Yeah. Oh, I like can't drink it. So you might be wondering, what is matcha? It is a very fine powder made out of green tea leaves. Typically from Japan, the best powder would be ceremonial grade. That is the one that you want to drink. And it creates a beautiful, delicious green drink that I personally like to drink every single day. Now, this drink contains caffeine, around 70 milligrams of caffeine per serving, but it contains a special amino acid called L-theanine, which helps you not have the jitters. If I do drink coffee, you bet I am getting the jitters. So I don't drink coffee, I drink matcha instead. I'm out of the Uber and our first stop is gonna be matcha full. Can I give you a hug? Nice to meet nice you. you. I just said I was gonna go to Machaful, which is up the street, but I just bumped into Marcia, who Hi. works here at Chacha Matcha. So I guess I'm gonna go to Chacha Matcha first, cause why not? <laughs> Basically, I got four items. I got just the plain matcha with water. I feel like this one's gonna taste questionable. Then I got the matcha lemonade, which I heard is really good, matcha chai, and a matcha ginger turmeric. I meant to ask for this one iced. Anyways, I love you so matcha. Whoa, the flavors are crazy. Something about this flavor is interesting. I don't know what it is. I think it like kind of tastes like wheatgrass. Seven out of ten. It's good, but like the flavors are just like whoa. The reason why I like Chacha Matcha and like why they're probably like one of like the most popular matcha places is because it is actually like it's not like gritty. Like I hate when you get a gritty matcha and it's not gritty. Gritty. Okay, now I will try this matcha and water. Which like I'm not gonna lie, if you have matcha just like plain, like it is not is not that delicious plain. Honestly, this is not bad either though, which is very impressive to me. 8.2 out of 10. I'm so pleasantly surprised. Hi! Okay, you wanna meet me here? I met Chacha Matcha. I just bumped into a girl that worked here. Love you. See you soon. Okay, I think that this one is the chai. Cheers. Mmm, it's good too. It's very lightly flavored like chai, so it's just kind of like a sweet matcha, and I think that's why I like it. 10 out of 10. Should I even give a 10 out of 10 this early in the video? Maybe I should give it 9.9. .9. Do 9.9. .9. Cheers. This one's my actual favorite, the ginger turmeric. Wait, actually, maybe I'm a changed person. The matcha, the chai tastes way better than that. God damn. This one's like a 8 out of 10. Matcha chai? Actually way better than the ginger turmeric, in my opinion. And I thought I liked the ginger turmeric better. Okay, now I'm gonna wait for Kelly, my boyfriend, to come meet up with me. And then I guess we're gonna go to a coffee place and I will see if this random coffee place that we go to has matcha and we'll just try it, just for the lulls. Also, <sighs> Uh, soft launching my merch. Isn't this so exciting? Okay, now we wait for Kelly. Hello? Oh, oh it's so cold. <laughs> Do you want to try? This is a crazy flavor. Kelly hates matcha. Ooh, this is so good. Oh, okay, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't taste like matcha at all. It tastes like lemonade. It's just green. I've really been trying to change Kelly into a matcha lover because I love matcha and I really want to have my own matcha business. It's my biggest goal to have matcha that you would drink. Good luck. <laughs> try this one. Try this one. Yuck. Disgusting. <laughs> Zero out of ten. I knew you would say that. And you don't like Throw it away. I consider it a win that you like the lemonade matcha. Let's go. You just have to make lemonade matcha. Uh, I gotta go. Thanks, Colt. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good. I actually like it. The lemonade, though. The lemonade. That, that does it. That. The boys like the lemonade. Time to go to the coffee shop. Can I just do a regular matcha latte? Do oat oh, no. milk. Okay, so this is my typical matcha order, which is just a matcha with no sweetener. Cheers. This is actually pretty good. Like, try. it's not gritty or anything. Let me try. However, it is very milky, and they're. Okay, stop. Nicely blended and overall pretty decent. I'm going to give this a 8.5. Pretty hot. Look at this little sandwich you got from Sweet Moment. They make the most adorable little fluffy sandwiches. They're so cute. What flavor is this, Kelly? Chicken, egg, spicy meal. So if you were looking for little kawaii-esque food options, then I would definitely go here. Good morning. Hello, hello. 
Kelly and I are currently heading to the YouTube Google office in Chelsea Market and I am gonna see if I can snag a matcha there because we are getting lunch basically with just some other creators one of them being Casey Neistat so that's a, that's a little bit crazy but we'll see what happens Here, unless I somehow steal it from the cafeteria, but I don't think I can. <laughs> but no matcha. Okay, we just got out of our lunch, which was good, but we are now gonna go to Starbucks to try their matcha. I wanna do Starbucks and Dunkin' just as like a baseline. Starbucks has the best matcha. Like low key, kind of does. is getting absolutely demolished right now. First of all, just a regular matcha latte with soy milk. Honestly, the Starbucks matcha is one of the best. It's very sweet though. We'll give it a try. Mm, oh, it's so good. I would literally, bruh, tastes like root beer, but 10 out of 10. Is it bad if the Starbucks matcha is my 10 out of 10? That's kind of like, that's really questionable, but it tastes so good. Then this is the next one. This is the first drink with matcha I've ever had in my life. I had it when I was like 12. It was like a Christmas secret menu item, which is a vanilla bean frappuccino. This one I got with soy milk with a pump of peppermint and a scoop of matcha so that it's green. Cheers. That's so good. <laughs> Bruh, both of these 10 out of 10s. I'm not joking. I mean, that's great. Like, literally, yeah. it's so good. <laughs> you like this one? That's the best mod you ever given me. God damn it. Okay, just ran by Duncan to get their ice matcha latte. Ice matcha with oat milk. Compared to the Starbucks, something like a little interesting with the flavor. I normally still do really like the Dunkin' Matcha, but the milk is like kind of like giving me like oily vibes. I don't know why. So I think I gotta give it actually like, I think I have to give it like a seven out of 10. Sorry. Okay, it's day number three, and we're trying even more matcha places. I'm wearing my green sweater for the occasion. Cosmo and Wanda ain't slick. But first up, we are heading to Le Fin. I feel like I'm pronouncing weird. I'm pronouncing like the French way. I think it's a Vietnamese coffee place, but they also apparently have really good matcha. It's right here in East Village. So this little place right here. Matcha latte. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Hello. <laughs> I am now outside of La Fin. The girl that was there knew me, and she was so sweet. And also, it's like very quiet vibes in there. So, but here are the two matchas I got. I got a pandan matcha. I got a warm one, and then I got a mint matcha that is iced. So, I think we'll try the mint first. Cheers. Whoa. Some flavor in there is like so creamy. It's like literally insane. I'm gonna try this one and then I'll give both of them a rating. Pandan matcha. Oh, okay, I love this one. I'm gonna give it, let me think. Oh, hi! Here, please, please. <gasps> no, You're oh really my God, cute. thank you. <laughs> Wait, I didn't catch your name. Lena. Thank you so much. <laughs> nice oh my God, you. thank you. <laughs> Lena, you're the best. Oh my God, I'm feeling like I'm being treated too nicely at these matcha places. Uh, what the heck, it's so funny and cute. It smells so good. Mm, the flavors. This is so good. Now it's time for the ratings. This one, the mint one, for me, this is a 6.9 out of 10. For like my taste buds personally, I'm gonna have to go with the pandan. This one is delicious. This one I'm gonna give a 9.6. Mm, so good. Like literally, this is actually one of the best ones I think that I've had so far. And thanks again, Lena, for the cookie. Mwah. There is another matcha place that's like right up the street called La Cabra, and I've also heard that they have good matcha, so let's head there right now. pretty like legit, like very matcha eat specific vibes. I will say that out of all of the places I've gone so far, this place has done the absolute best like latte art that I've seen. Like this is absolutely beautiful. So I just got a regular matcha latte with oat milk. I don't think that it's sweetened. Cheers. Whoa, 
just for like the plain matcha flavor, it's very good. Just basing it off taste, I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10, actually. The latte art was good, and it's definitely good quality matcha, but I don't know, nothing crazy or spicy, it's just good. I've actually drank so much matcha today, I kind of feel like I'm gonna throw up and die, so I don't know if that's impacting my like ratings. I don't think it is, but I feel like this next place might set me over the edge. Got it. This is where I always sit after I get my matcha full. There's like a little white building over here and there's some steps. I like straight up, I'm gonna throw up. I'm not even joking, I'm like, Ugh. Anyways, this is my purple drink. It's a iced indigo glow. I think I've had it before, but let's give it a try. Cheers. Okay, honestly, there, it's so creamy. Oh, I like can't drink it. I don't wanna give it a bad rating because I feel like Matcha Bowl is like a very good matcha place, but this is like a three out of 10. I don't know what's going on here, but it's so creamy and interesting. Oh, I'm, oh. Damn. Okay, anyways, let's see if they can revive themselves on their donuts, the matcha black sesame donut. This actually looks pretty adorable. No offense, that's the worst tone I ever had. No. I swear I've had I've had matcha bowl before. No, no, I just remember they sell soft serve that's so delicious and I forgot to get it. We'll just know they have good soft serve, but don't get that drink. The drink was nasty and also don't get their donut. You heard it here first. I did not really enjoy that that much. Ugh. One of Kelly's favorite coffee spots. Yes, I got a warm matcha. Okay, okay. Okay, taste test time. What'd you order? Come on. Ice vanilla latte with uh, ice. <laughs> You're not allowed to drink that in my video. Cheers. Good every time. The vibes are off. <laughs> I love the vibes here. It's like a little gritty and a little too milky. What do you rate this coffee, Kelly? 8.5 out of 10. This one I give a two out of 10. <laughs> and Allison and we're going to go to a very culturally Japanese matcha place. I'm excited. Thank you. And here we arrived at the most legit matcha place ever. Can I do the matcha puccino with the house ground? Of course I decided to order the most high quality matcha that they offered at the staggering price of $17. The whole process was very calm and you absolutely should not go here if you are in a rush. We got to chat with the person serving us who was training under a real tea master. Also he was really funny because he said when you have really good matcha you transcend. And then we were like haha that is so funny. And he was like no. I am serious. So he was hella hardcore. The matcha puccino. I got the matcha puccino. <laughs> Cheers. Very smooth. Oh wow. Very, very mellow. Very good. That matcha literally had no bitterness, which was crazy and also why it was so expensive. But not gonna lie, I kind of missed the earthiness. Next up, Allison ordered a matcha affogato, which was matcha and sochu, aka Japanese liquor, over ice cream. This ice cream is so yummy. <laughs> then we tried koicha, which is super thick matcha. And the employee was nice enough to just let us try a tiny bit, but if you order it normally, it's $25. <laughs> you turn some. It tastes like, like nature. Okay, guys. we just got out of the very fancy matcha place. What it, the guy that was there was really like funny and very talkative. The matcha was like, I could tell it was like very good quality, like very like mellow and good. But sometimes at the end of the day, I'm loving the Starbucks matcha <laughs> still. I fuck. knew, yes. I knew it. I got it with ice cream, so I can't relate to any of these bitches. It was good. It oh, was good. So matcha, yeah, yeah, yeah. go for it. The vibes it's were really very good. like wholesome, like yeah. spa vibes. For, for sure. unsweetened matcha, 10 out of 10. Ooh. But compared to everything else that I've had, for sweet too. Just for like, a, I just love like a sweet latte. So like eight out of ten compared to like the sweeter ones I do. Yeah, but the matcha is great. But the it matcha itself matcha. is like really good matcha. Offer if I put name. creamer in it, <laughs> eleven out of ten. <laughs> High fructose corn syrup would have been bust. Yeah, <laughs> I would have really transcended. <laughs> We got the matcha. 
matcha. Yes, what did you get? It's a peach white. Issa's waiting for hers, but she got jasmine pearl. And we got some anari and a little salad. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the matcha. Chad. Actually, this is so good. This is looking maybe like my favorite one I've had so far. I'm not even joking. Good. Oh, you know why? Because it's sweet and. <laughs> to that guy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this one's this is delicious. Yeah. 11 out of 10. Kind of the matcha is so good. This is my favorite matcha. She won today. Wait, Literally a bug slave, bro. This is like $20. <laughs> Cheers. That's pretty good though. Honestly, I like it. And it's good. I like right? the sauce. The sauce is good. Okay, it is finally the last day of matcha tasting and I'm gonna bring you guys to my favorite matcha place. The place where it's always a 10 out of 10 and it's gonna be delicious, so let's go. We're here. <laughs> I am going to make a homemade matcha latte. This is my favorite matcha latte, and I will show you exactly how I make it. Now I have a measuring cup filled with water, and I know that I have been hyping up that I will create my own matcha brand, and I'm not gonna lie, I am working on it. Take it actually on this frother. This is an electric frother. Just kind of dump it in. I like to take at least a couple frother pulls. Get it really nice and green. I am personally a soy milk girl, so that's what I'm gonna be using. Nice, good amount. And then if you want unsweetened, you can just pour in the matcha like that, but I love mine with at least a little bit of creamer. This is my favorite creamer. This literally makes the drink. Loki creamer can make or break the flavor of your matcha. Glass straw. Literally the best matcha I've ever had in my life. Mmm. Beasted. My final takeaways from this experience, homemade matcha, to me personally, is always the most delicious. Chacha matcha, always good matcha. Cha An, the place that I tried yesterday, blessed. So good. <sighs> matcha full. I don't know if it was a bad day when I went or I just didn't order the right thing, but everything was actually a little too healthy vibes for me. It was a little too fancy. Then, the ceremonial place that we went, Setsu, Setsu Jeka, Loki was like very quiet vibes in there, like pin drop, kind of like awkward silency vibes. Very like meditationally wellness kind of setting. And I love that matcha is a thing that ranges so differently any place you go, because you are always in for a mega surprise. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you would like to maybe see me make my own matcha brand. I personally would like to see it, but I would like to know if you guys would like to see it. I love you all, and I will see you next time. Peace.